If you're thinking of planning a trip to Utah's many national parks, then this is the list for you. How's it going? Welcome to the Campendium YouTube channel where it's our hope and our goal to provide you with the resources and the information to get out there and camp. And today we're looking at Utah's Mighty Five National Parks. They have uh, Arches National Parks, they have Canyonlands, they have Capitol Reef, they have Bryce Canyon and Zion National Park and a lot of areas in between that are definitely worth exploring. And I think it's safe to say that the Moab area is one of the most popular of all these areas to go to. There's just so much packed into that area. So if you're wanting to go to Arches National Park in the Moab area uh, where you can get a slice of pizza and still get outdoors and see these amazing sites, you could look at Devil's Garden Campground. Where a review from MLD says, we camped here for three nights while exploring Arches National Park. We enjoyed the ability to hike right from the campground. We parked our RV and didn't move it for three days. We had a back in sight that was quite nice, well spaced from the neighbors. Also in this area, you could check out Ken's Lake Campground, where Aluminarium said, great price and lots of space between the sites made us happy for a week. There's also some great hikes on site, one to a beautiful waterfall. We know that people flock to this area because of the off-roading opportunities and the mountain biking. Uh, so if you're looking for some off-road opportunities, you could look at Sand Flats Recreation Area. This one is well known for four-wheel drive enthusiasts, so it might be a little noisy during the day, but it does quiet down during the evening. Now, if you're all set up for off-roading and your rig has some good ground clearance, you could check out Lower Gemini Bridges. I don't recommend going in here if you don't have ground clearance on your rig, but if you still wanna be in the area and you want full hookups, you could look at the Moab Valley RV Resort. With all the boondocking opportunities around, sometimes it's nice to hit a full hookup RV place so you can empty your tanks and reload to head back out there. Canyonlands is our next national park and it shares Moab as its hub, but it definitely comes with its own flavor and own experiences for its national park. So the first place that we're gonna look at for this area that you can camp at is Potash Road where Kaylee B said, this place was amazing. You have a great view of the Colorado River in the backside of Canyonlands with the beautiful views for a quiet and clean place to camp. Next on our list is Dead Horse Point State Park. The Journeying Jackson said, we found one night available and we took it. This place is amazing. This place is an amazing park and one of the most beautiful parts of the country. We would love to stay longer, but we had a great time during our short stay. The next national park in the Mighty Five is Capitol Reef National Park. And the first campground we're gonna look at in this area is Fruta Campground. Zemia Ventures says, this lush green campground has shade trees, but not so much that solar power generation is impossible. Adjacent orchards, flowing river water sounds, prolific deer, and delicious fresh baked goods just steps away. We loved it. It's also perfectly located to explore the hiker's paradise that is Capitol Reef National Park with several trails. If you can't get in there, you could look at Capitol Reef Overflow. Some of the titles to the reviews say, beautiful and close to Capitol Reef. Free, beautiful, just a little bumpy. The road apparently can be a little rough getting in there. Now, if you're looking for something a little less busy, then maybe Bryce Canyon might be more of your style. And the North Campground at Bryce Canyon is an excellent option. One review said, this is a nice campground and is a great way to see Bryce Canyon. Sunset Point is only a few minutes trek from most campsites. The stars were incredible and the canyon itself was awesome. It's really all about location, location, location. Walk to the visitor center, access several hikes and the paved bike path right from the campground. If that one's full, you could look at Sunset Campground where it's a first come, first serve, nice campground in the heart of Bryce. Just outside the park where just about everything's named Ruby's something, there's Ruby's Inn RV Park and Campground. It's a private owned park with just about the closest access to the national park if the park is full up. But these aren't your only options if you're looking to get into Bryce. There's some excellent boondocking opportunities just outside of Bryce, like George's Gift and Tom's Best Spring. There's also Whiteman Branch and Cabin Hollow, just to name a few of them. 
Now to finish off the Mighty Five is Zion National Park and it is definitely a must see. That's why we did a whole video just on Zion. We have a whole article just on Zion National Park. But it's worth mentioning a few of them so we could look at South Campground, which is officially in the National Park along with Watchmen if you want that in the Zion National Park experience. But if you can't get into those, the next best option is probably the Zion Canyon Campground and RV Resort. It's situated along the Virgin River with the same gorgeous canyon views you'll find in the park and a short walk to the park entrance. Southern Utah is absolutely amazing with these mighty five national parks, but you don't want to miss some of the areas that are in between. You don't want to overlook and miss a place like Valley of the Gods. So for the entire list and to see so many more places to stay in Southern Utah, I'm going to put a link down in the description to the article that gives you so many options if you want to check out this amazing area. Also in the description, I'll put a link to each of the places that we talked about in here. So you just press the link and it'll take you right to the Campendium page for all the details and all the reviews so that you can get as much information to plan your trip to this national park haven. I, I don't know what else to call it. It's, there's a lot to see in the area. So I think that's gonna do it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos and remember to get out there to stay safe and keep exploring. We'll see you in the next video.